Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. This video will be short, but it is a powerful video for its size. Job Witnesses, this video is for you and for your um other people that protects your religion. I'm going to use the Bible scriptures to prove why people like me and others did our research and what we got out of it and why our hearts, our minds, our guts will never return to Watchtower to be a Jehovah Witness. So let's see what the Bible says. This scripture, a bunch of us knows, but I'm going to share again. 1 Thessalonians 5.21 Test all things. Hold fast what is good. Now, to break down verse 21, to test few things, half of things, or did it say all things of the doctrines of Watchtower. That means not just what you, you've been taught, but also what you or others didn't know, the past beliefs, teaching, because we don't know Unless we get off our rumps and using the internet to shed some light or new light why people like us left this organization. Now, I was going to make another video and the scripture I'm going to next. I found something very interesting. So this is 1 Corinthians 6, 9. You not known that the unrighteous will not enter God's kingdom. Well, the kingdom of God. And we know what the major sins are. Adultery fornication, and I'm not getting into that now because that's going to be going into another future video. The part I'm going to read is the first thing after what we just read. It says, do not be deceived. First thing after it says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Job witnesses, you're thinking that we are trying to deceive you. Why would we trying to deceive you? Or any other people. The research we have found is correct. And it is 100% truth. Now, it says, do not be deceived. If this information that we found 
And believe me, there are tons of the things I found. Should it strengthen my faith to stay in Jehovah's Witnesses? Or should I listen to what was taught, what was published in the, all the literature of Watchtower to examine it to make sure if it was truthful or should I call it old light or should I call it a new light? Or better yet, should I look at it, what that scripture says, I was deceived. Now, Jehovah Witnesses, you claim that you want to be in paradise, to live forever. But in that scripture, it tells you, you will not inherit God's kingdom because you allowed yourself to be deceived. And that's almost worse committing adultery, fornication, and things like that. You probably wonder why? Because you are knocking on people's doors. You are trying to bring people into this false religion created by Charles T. Russell, Judge Rockford, and the eight governing body members today. Because you fail to test everything that was written by Watchtower to be truthful or lies, half-truths, 50% of truth, how you want to look at it, it's a lie. Just like 1925. I don't see Abraham. I don't see King David. I don't see none of those men. So apparently your religion was teaching. And I've seen many articles from different publications that these men was guaranteed to go come back alive on 20, 1925 all the way through till Judge Rutherford took his last breath in 1942. Was that old light? Was that half truth? Are we supposed to look at it, what these scriptures is talking about? That we are supposed to examine everything that we've been taught. Because we do not want to die for a false religion. Now, your religion tells us to get out of false religion to come to the true religion. Why did many people left their false religion to come in watchtowers? It's disgusting, death, mental religion. My voice is to help people so they can do the research that we have given them many times. Even my videos has proven the research I have done. And it was, a bunch of it was from your own literature, Jehovah's Witnesses. Do I want to die because I didn't do my research? I too would love to live forever on a beautiful earth, to live forever. Am I going to use my ignorance and pride to keep me from doing real research? And when I know from the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 
6, 9 says, Do not be deceived. You are hold accountable your actions when you go to knocking on people's doors. You and your actions is bringing people into a pedophile paradise. And that's what your religion is. Am I ashamed for obeying those two scriptures? No, I'm glad I did. Because those two scriptures is a warning. You can have true happiness or you can have everlasting death, Jehovah's Witnesses. Your choice. You are being deceived by watch talk. You are being deceived by those eight idiots. And that's what they are. Idiots that change God's word into a blaspheming book you carry around and you use in all the kingdom halls to this day. That fake book what you call Bible is deceiving you. I've seen the lies, the deceptions, the control to keep you in this false religion. So if you choose to ignore this video, then you must enjoy being deceived when the power is in your hands to examine all the things that we've learned and we got out because we refuse to be deceived by Watchtower anymore and deceive others to join this false religion. So that's all I'm going to say. Scriptures is there. God's word is the truth. You can apply it or you can ignore it. But the consequences is yours. You can be ignorant or, or you can get off your fanny and wake up and realize we're not playing games with you. We show you the truth. We're not the liars. Watchtower is. Thank you. Y'all have a wonderful day.